morning. This is Angela Rippon. You are listening to CCC Radio. <coughs> Pepper, your cue. Oh, sorry. So, you have brought Debbie and I in as advisors because uh, you want Easter to rival Christmas as a holiday celebration. And you want your church to be right at the forefront of Easter, really upping its game. Well, the answer is simple. Don't mention the cross. Am I right, Debbie? Precisely. The Easter story is not exactly joyful now, is it? An innocent man dying horribly on a cross. I'm not surprised you've not been able to sell Easter. So here's what I want from you. A presentation of Easter with no mention of the word sin or death. Only happy words are allowed. And don't mention the cross. Now, children, if you hear the word cross in the following sketch, put your arms in front of you like this. As if to say, don't mention the cross. Also, you should hear Pippa make this sound. Right, let's brainstorm. Show me what you've got. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. Custard! How do you think we should go about selling Easter, given our guidelines? It had crossed my mind that we ought to ask a cross-section of the local Cockfossers community what Easter means to them. No doubt some will say the Easter bunny and Easter eggs, but then I could say, aha, you say bunny and eggs, and I say cross. Jesus! Jesus died on a cross. Psst, Rosie, don't mention the cross. <gasps> Sorry, Neil, but Jesus was killed on a cross. Works. You better be quiet, Rosie. We're not mentioning the cross. But why aren't we mentioning the cross? Because cross is not a happy word, and we want people to be happy about Easter, don't we? But Easter is essentially about Jesus dying on a cross. <gasps> what did I say about death and dying? Happy words. We're aiming for happy words. <coughs> Easter is about Jesus because he rose again from the da da daisies. And daisies are pretty happy flowers that remind us of the spring, which is about new life. Jesus came to give us new life. So, because of Jesus, we're all friends now, eh? Us and God We'll all be in heaven together, and no need at all to mention the cross. Do you know what I could do with a daisy? Hmm? We can make a nice cross stitch. That's what I would do with a daisy. Shh! Don't mention the cross. Oh, if you're not careful, you're going to have cross words with those scary advisors. Right, we're taking over the honking. Pippa, you're not keeping up. I'm thinking we should make a cross reference to Christmas and then what will happen is people will know that it's the same Jesus we're talking about. Cross, 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 is that all you people can think about? Now you've made them really cross. We interrupt this broadcast for an important announcement. We cannot have Easter without the cross. There will be no more need for horn honking. The events of Easter are as follows. Jesus was killed on a cross. Jesus is known as the Son of God, so when he died on the cross, our sins were put to death with him. Jesus did not stay dead. He was resurrected to full life on the third day, which is known as Easter Sunday. We have been saved from facing punishment for our sin and an eternity away from the love and peace of God as long as we accept Jesus as our personal Lord and Saviour. This is a fantastic reason to celebrate, making Easter a happy season for believers in Jesus Christ. 
Sounds like a great reason to be thankful, Angela. Yes, maybe we got our wires crossed. The scary advisors will have cross words to say about that. Oh, I'm leaving. I know when I'm not being appreciated. <laughs> if that were true, you would have left four pages ago. <sighs> Me too. I give up. Uh, tea and a uh, hot cross bun, anyone?